Hello and welcome to our quick tutorial on how to record an audiobook using a free DAW called Audacity. You can download Audacity totally free from www.audacityteam.org. Now, if you're using a USB microphone, you need to have it plugged into your computer before opening Audacity. Now here is the main screen of Audacity. From the main screen, as we have here, we need to tell Audacity what device to use to capture audio. In other words, we need to select our input device or recording device. This microphone icon over here symbolizes the input device. Your USB microphone should be listed in the drop down menu as an input device. So if you're using the Blue Yeti, select Blue Yeti or any other USB microphone you're using. Next, we need to check if Audacity is actually receiving audio from our recording device. This bar over here indicates the input level. Input level means how loud the signal that is coming into our computer is. To view the input levels, click Start Monitoring. Now, we want to always try and keep the input levels between minus 18 decibel and minus 6 decibel. We always try to be on the safe side and not let the input levels pass minus 6 or minus 3 decibels. Anything louder than that may cause distortion and that is something we do not want. Also, we need to check that our overall levels are not below minus 18 decibels because that is just too low. You can use this bar over here to adjust the input level. Turn the input level up or turn it down. Now that we have our input set up, all we need to do is start recording. When we click record, an audio track will be automatically created and we'll be able to see the waveform of the audio we're capturing. Now all you need to do is focus on a great performance of your script. If you make a mistake, you don't need to stop and start recording again unless you want to. All you have to do is repeat and carry on. When you make a mistake, snap your fingers or clap your hands to indicate a mistake and carry on. All unwanted elements like mistakes, loud breaths, lip snaps, long pauses and more will be taken care of during the editing stage in our studio. When you finish recording your chapter, you can save an Audacity file. Click File, Save Project or Save Project As. Now the last step is to export the audio you have recorded to a file that is playable by most media players and DAWs, so it can be edited in a professional DAW. Click File, Export. Now what we need to do is select a WAV file or AIFF file, type in the name in the folder and click OK. When the meta tag box pops up, just click OK. Open the folder you exported the file to and you're ready. This was a quick tutorial on how to record your audiobook using Audacity. Please check our next video on room setup and microphone placement. For more information, help and our audiobook production services, please visit www.eaudioproductions.com